Hey, Fort Lee, it's Mayor Mark. I hope everybody's doing well. And again, congratulations on helping to stop the spread here in Fort Lee. Today's video, though, is going to be about Bridgegate. Back in 2013, the first week in September, if you recall, a few political boneheads at the Port Authority and elsewhere closed lanes to the George Washington Bridge because I didn't endorse Governor Christie. You'll recall that we had traffic, our kids couldn't get to school. It was during Jewish High Holy Days. It was during 9-11 ceremonies. Um, other people couldn't get to work. As a matter of fact, our first responders were jogging to calls because they couldn't get the ambulances to the addresses. That's how bad the traffic was. Well, those people got caught. They got caught with their hand in the cookie jar. And since 2013, it's been in the federal court system. Now, Bridgegate has been back in the news because the Supreme Court last week overturned the criminal convictions of two of those individuals. Fort Lee and I, in particular, testified in federal criminal court several years ago. Myself, police chief, uh, our ambulance administrator. We all testified, not because we were looking to dole out punishment. We weren't involved in sentencing. That's not our job. Our job was to take an oath, was to tell the truth, and make sure the world found out about what these people did to us for one reason. Not to punish them, but to make sure no idiots ever fell into the same position and inflicted this type of harm and agony on Fort Lee ever again. So I want to be clear. While the criminal convictions may have been overturned because this exact fact pattern didn't fit squarely into a criminal statute, here's what the United States Supreme Court, the highest court in the world, found. They unanimously found that the public officials who ordered the change of lanes claimed that they were reducing the number of lanes to conduct the traffic study. In fact, they did so for a political reason, to punish the mayor of Fort Lee and its residents for refusing to support New Jersey governor's re-election bid. But more importantly, and this is what I really want you to hold on to, the Supreme Court unanimously held in its decision on page two that the evidence that the jury was presented with, no doubt, shows that there was wrongdoing, deception, corruption, and an abuse of power. Now, between us, I know some people are celebrating. They're suggesting they've been vindicated as a result of this decision. The only thing this decision did was it said technically they didn't commit a criminal act. So for Lee, this decision by the Supreme Court with finality brings closure to the Bridgegate saga that's consumed a lot of my time over the course of the last seven or eight years. But I want you to know that our job, as I said before, was not about sentencing people or punishing people. It was about telling the truth under oath before a jury to make sure that the actions of these individuals gets out there and the world finds out about it so that no one ever after them would even consider closing the bridge for political retribution reasons. But again, remember, the Supreme Court held that their actions, while maybe not criminal, while maybe not fitting squarely into the definition of a particular criminal statute, their actions were deceptive, were corrupt, and were an abuse of power. And I know the way I lead my life, I would not want to be on this earth for the next many years knowing that that's a part of my reputation because that was the unanimous ruling of the Supreme Court. So that brings closure to the Bridgegate saga. We now need to go back and focus on what's important, and that's our safety and our well-being. So Fort Lee, keep it up. We're doing a great job helping to stop the spread. Keep it up. Your vigilance is getting us through this. God bless you, and I'll be back to you with more videos in the near future.